what to pack for a cruise. Hi, my name is Mark Olson, and I've got some great cruise packing tips for you today. I've got a lot of items to get through, so I'm going to go as quickly as I can. But first, I want to share with you a website. It's www.cruisesecretsexposed.com, where you can go there and find some more uh, cruise packing tips and some planning tips and uh, ways to save lots of money on your next cruise. Okay, so let's get started. All right, you want to make sure that you have a good cruise packing list uh, before you go on your cruise. You don't want to forget anything uh, because it's going to be very di difficult to find anything in the retail sh uh, stores on the ship, and you don't want to be spending your first day in port looking for the things that you forgot. Okay, you want to make sure you bring your passports and your boarding pass and all the documents that you need for your cruise. Not every cruise requires a passport, so you need to you know find out before you go. You want to make sure you bring uh, medical insurance cards, and I would make a copy of your credit card. Uh, your uh, passport and your medical cards just in case something gets lost or stolen you have access to the numbers and things like that. All right, moving on to alcohol. On some cruises uh, like Carnival you're allowed to bring one bottle of uh, wine uh, per person on your cruise. You can bring it on if you bring it to a dinner there will be a ten dollar uh, corkage fee but if you want to just open it up in your room make sure you bring a, uh, an opener. You, as far as hard alcohol goes, you're really not allowed to bring it on, uh, but this is how I got around that. I actually snuck it on, I put it in these Propel water bottles, and this, this, uh, these bottles came in like a package of six with the plastic uh, coating around them. I actually pulled them out of that coating, opened them up, dumped, them, dumped the water out, put the alcohol in, put like Malibu and, and rum, uh, I mean, and uh, vodka in there, and I, I put them back in that plastic and put it in my checked bag, not in my carry-on, my checked bag, and they did not uh, confiscate it. I also brought uh, this mini blender, which was really great. I had uh, made mixed drinks all week long. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart, and um, I um, just had a great time making my own mixed drinks. I also brought some uh, mixes here that, uh, you know, pina colada mix and uh, some, uh, you know, Mai Tai and, and whatever kind of drinks here. And I also brought this uh, cup here that I could, you know, make my drinks in the room and then bring it up on the decks up, upstairs, uh, up top on the decks. Here is a, <laughs> this is actually my kids, but it's a, uh, it's a, like a water uh, flavoring. They also make that stuff called Mio. I didn't have any more to show you, but uh, you'll find it in the stores. It's called Mio, and uh, you can put it in your water bottle, and it makes your, your water taste better because it doesn't really taste that great on the, on the ships. You don't want to forget your camera, of course, and you don't want to forget your batteries to your camera if uh, your camera takes uh, batteries. A lot of them are just, uh, you know, charged, uh, charger-type, um, you know, batteries. Uh, so you don't want to forget your cords if you need to charge your batteries to your camera. Some people break to bring uh, thank you cards, which is kind of a nice idea. You kind of make, uh, give these, uh, fill these out, and give them to your room steward and give them to them early uh, in the uh, on the cruise. Kind of, you know, it's a nice thing to do, and you might get some better service out of it. And some people actually make uh, regional gift bags and give them to the room steward. It's just a nice thing to do, and um, you know, it might you might get some better service out of that. Here is a little medical uh, kit with some band-aids and really basic uh, first aid stuff. You know, you, you want to have something like that in case you get a blister or whatever, so you don't have to go down to the infirmary or be searching for a band-aid. Here's some air freshener. Those rooms are pretty small, so you want to make sure that you have some uh, air freshener. As far as snorkel gear goes, you don't have to bring this. If you're going to go on an excursion that involves snorkeling, they're going to provide that for you. But if you're going to go uh, out on, into the port uh, by your own and you know maybe find a beach, you might want to bring your own. Uh, otherwise, they will rent you uh, some snorkel gear on the ship right before you get off. Okay, moving on. Here is a flashlight. Uh, in a lot of uh, cruises, they don't really lose power, but you know, in case they do. Uh, you know, it's good to have a flashlight. Here are some painkillers and some Toms. You're going to be eating, eating all kinds of uh, different foods, more than likely, on this cruise. So uh, you want to make sure you have, you know, just, just think about what you might need. Uh, you know, if you have a hangover or you uh, just have a headache, you want some Advil or Tylenol or something like that. As far as motion sickness goes, this is called uh, Transderm. It's actually a prescription. You have to go to your doctor to get it. Uh, my this is my wife's and um, it's a uh, it's like a patch that goes behind your ear. It helps with equilibrium, which uh, helps to prevent you from getting uh, nauseous on the cruise. I bought this at Walmart. It's called Motion Ease. Same concept. It's like an oil you rub behind your ears, 
and it, uh, I didn't even use it, but it uh, apparently works uh, on the same premise as the transderm. And these, uh, this is a, a C-band, and it's actually got a acupressure uh, little plastic uh, node on there that you put these on the inside of your wrist, and uh, through the acupressure it apparently uh, works, and I do know some people that have used those, and that they do work. Don't forget your sunblock and maybe some aloe in case you get uh, sunburn. Don't forget your prescriptions. I take Allegra and Flonase for my allergies. So you don't obviously want to forget your prescriptions. This is uh, some off uh, for bug, bug repellent. If you go on some excursions, you uh, may you know, be in the woods and stuff. So you might want to uh, bring some of that uh, because otherwise you'll, you'll get bit. This is some travel uh, shampoo and conditioner. They will provide you with that stuff, uh, some shampoo and conditioner and some soap in the cabins, but you know, we all have our preferences as to what we use. So if you want, bring some uh, of that. Let's move over to here. Um, sandals, obviously bring some good uh, sandals, flip-flops, whatever. You also might want to consider bringing some tennis shoes because certain excursions require you to have tennis shoes. Like if you go on a biking trip or a, um, you know, just certain different excursions, hiking stuff, you have to have tennis shoes. Make sure you bring a hat, it gets pretty windy uh, on deck, so and you can keep out of the sun. Always bring a good backpack, it's always good just to have a good backpack. Uh, this here was one of the uh, best things I brought on my last cruise. It was my uh, little portable docking uh, music uh, stereo system for my iPod and my, uh, my phone, which is just kind of nice to have your own music in your room. This actually takes batteries too, so I could take it out on my balcony. Uh, this, yeah, I'll bring your, your headphones, and here is, um, it is a surge protector, because you don't have a lot of uh, outlets in your room, so you really want to make sure, you know, you bring this, and it's, it's actually, does take up a lot of room in your, in your suitcase, and it's really handy, and you can plug a lot more things in there. Suitcase, um, you want to make sure that you put a ribbon on your suitcase so when you get off the boat there's going to be like thousands of bags you're going to have to sift through to find your suitcase and you want to make sure that yours is uh, very easily identified so you um, one it doesn't get stolen uh, it doesn't get mistaken for someone else's and you know you can find it quickly and easily this thing here on the ground is a hammock that I actually picked up in port on one of my cruises and I actually put it across my balcony if you have a balcony and I was able to, you know, kind of go out there and just hang out on my hammock uh, on my balcony. It was really nice. As far as clothes go, I mean, you're going to have to bring your typical, you know, shorts, t-shirts, all that stuff. Stuff you want to go out to the, you know, casino and clubs at night. But as far as most, most questions come from the formal nights. And, you know, if you have a shirt and tie and some nice pants, you're probably fine. If you want to step it up, you know, wear a suit. This is, probably can't see that real well. But this is just a suit jacket and some nice pants or uh, you'll be fine for guys. You know, you just don't want to show up with, uh, you know, shorts and a t-shirt on a formal night. If you're going on a seven-day cruise, you're probably going to have two formal nights. If it's less than seven days, probably one. You know, for women, just the dress. You know, some people go really, you know, go crazy and get some really nice dresses and things like that, which is nice. You don't have to. And um, But, you know, you can get some really nice pictures of, uh, you know, with your significant other uh, on the ship and during the formal, night, formal nights. This thing here is a over-the-door storage organizer, which is kind of a cool, cool tip because you can really fit a lot of different smaller items in this thing. This is a small one. They make these things that are like double the size. You know, you put your normally put your shoes and stuff in here, but this, um, uh, you know, will hold just a lot of little knickknacks and stuff like that, toiletries, and you can actually bring uh, one of these uh, shower rod. Ex uh, they're like an extender. It's like a pressure rod, and you can put that across your door and use it that way. This is binoculars. I like to look at different things from the ship. You know, there's all kinds of things to look at. There's different ships that pass by and different islands that you'll pass by and you'll be able to see. You want to bring some walkie-talkies if you want to be able to communicate easily with uh, the people in your group. Gum. They don't sell gum on the ships because they don't want it all stuck to the, you know, the, the decks and the chairs and everything like that, so I don't blame them. So if you're a gum chewer, bring some gum. This is some uh, portable uh, toilet paper. You know, you never know when you're going to need it, so, uh, you know, if you're out on port and uh, you're by the beach, whatever, there's no bathrooms nearby, you never know, so you might want to consider bringing that. I'm a coffee drinker, and I like my coffee a certain way. Uh, I've been drinking the same, it the same way for years, so I just, uh, I use this French vanilla powdered stuff, this uh, creamer, so I can uh, have the coffee that I, the way I like it. This here is a uh, paper towel roll holder. 
that you can actually, you know, if you maybe a want to keep some you know, keepsakes in like a menu or something you can roll roll it up and put it inside there and maybe keep some of your items that you want to uh, keep nice maybe your scrapbooker or something like that and keep things nice and uh, you know wrinkle free in there here are some um, snacks that you might want to bring because you there's obviously plenty of food on the on the cruise but you know not a lot of packaged food and if you go on your excursion or just you know want to have it in your room you bring some snacks especially if you have kids and the last item here is just a sticky notepad that, you know, if you want to use this to write notes to your room steward, you can do that. So there you have it. There's um, a lot of different items that you may or may not have thought about uh, to bring on your on your next cruise. So if you want to go over to www.cruisesecretsexposed.com, you'll be able to uh, find some more information about how to plan for your cruise and how to get some uh, really good savings there. So go on over to that website now, and I hope you have a great time on your next cruise.